Today I'll be talking about what you can do with your Google Chromecast. And so, to me, I think there's four things you can do with your Chromecast. So I'll be kind of showing it through my computer over here. So the first thing you can do is uh, you can cast Netflix or YouTube to a TV from any mobile device or computer. So here's YouTube. Let me maximize the screen. And then if I choose a video, say I chose this video, at the bottom of the video there's a button called remote which allows me to cast to my Chromecast. And then over here on my TV, I'll see that it says YouTube. It says the video name on top. And it shows the video. So the only way for me to control, like fast forward or rewind, I have to go back to my PC session. And then I can select a different location from over here as you would normally on YouTube. And then it'll adjust it up over here. It's that simple to use for YouTube. And Netflix is pretty much the same thing. Um, so that's the first thing you can do with your Google Chromecast. So after you're done casting, Again, from the bottom right, you can select that cast button and you can go back to your computer and that'll shut off your Chromecast. So on your TV, it'll say ready to cast. So back to my computer. Sorry, I was planning to use a webcam for this, but my webcam is really bad. Uh, so the next thing you can do with your Chromecast is if you install the Chromecast extension you can cast your Chrome tab. So basically you can share any website. So let's say I'm on this YouTube already. At the top right over here, let's see if I can zoom in, right over here, you press that and you can cast this tab session over to the com uh, to the TV. So here's a TV. So this screencast, uh, it does, uh, what do you call it? There is like a one or two second uh, delay. So if I go to Yahoo, you don't see it on the, the TV. But it'll show you the web page and then I just moved my mouse and it's taking about a second for it to update so using this method you can go to another site like daily motion and try to watch a video my brother was asking me if you could watch HBO Go uh, through this and this is actually a good test because when I try it out it's pretty choppy so it's not really a viable option unless I heard it works fine if you have a really fast internet connection I'm only running three megabits per second So that's one thing you can do. You can go to different websites like msn.com. As I said again, there's a slight delay and if your internet connection's fast enough, you should use this. Uh, one thing I'll note is if I go back here onto my PC and over here you can stop casting by clicking again on the top top right stop casting so on here there's an option there's option screen over here uh, you can actually set 
a lower uh, streaming or tab projection quality. I set mine to 480p, which is the lowest, uh, hoping the performance would improve. And it did improve slightly, but as you can see, it's still choppy. Um, so that's one thing you can do. Uh, besides that, so you can share any websites. Sorry about that. Uh, you can go to streaming websites like Dailymotion, except it's kind of slow. And you could actually go to uh, uh, streaming, use streaming server like Plex server to stream your uh, local content over the web. That way you, you can watch a lot of your videos. Because uh, one thing that the Chromecast can do through the tab is it can play uh, local media files like MP3, M4V, and MP4. So the easiest way to do that is to drag and drop the file. So let's say I'm on here and I decide to, okay, I'm going to cast my current tab over here. So if I look over here on my TV, I'll see the Chrome tab. Sorry, autofocus is kind of slow on this old Sony camera. But going back over here, I tried different video files and then uh, MP3 works fine. If I take a, I can't see an MP3 file in here, but MP4 fi files will work fine. As you can see, all I did was I, all I did was I dragged the video into there. So here's a M4V file. Drag it into the tab, and then it'll just play it onto there. Playing those local MP4 or M4V files, it plays okay. So when I first got this, playing local files did run pretty well, but recently it's been lagging. I think maybe I have to just restart the Chromecast. So let me stop my Chromecast. Uh, you can also access, access your files by entering the directory into the URL. So I can go C and it'll open a file directory like FTP or something and then you can navigate to your video or MP3 files and play it locally. There's one other way and you just press Control O and then you can choose your what do you call it files to open on that Chrome tab. Okie dokie. So that's the second Thing you can do using Chrome tab extension. Um, the third thing you can do is you can desktop screen share and again this is only for PC or Mac you can't do it through your your what do you call it your mobile device um, so I can show you how I do that you go click on the top right And there's a little arrow right over here that you click on and you can cast entire screen experimental. And now when you cast, it'll ask you over here, uh, do you want to share your screen and just click yes. And so now Now you can see I'm sharing the desktop. Uh, let 
me change the picture size to native and I can see everything. So it's kind of nice. I can probably use um, PowerPoint or any other application to show what's going on here. Again, there's a delay. Uh, if I try to play video, uh, if I try to play video, there might be a slight delay. The other thing is, there's no audio. Uh, this is experimental, so it doesn't stream audio when I'm sharing the desktop. But there's a second delay, basically. I think if you have a faster internet connection, it won't be as bad. But I could be wrong. It might just be... I'm running a wireless and routers, but my... Uh, my uh, USB stick is actually wireless N2, so I'm not sure. So that's the third thing you can do with your Chromecast, which is to do uh, screen sharing. And the very last thing is you can play uh, Google Play Music or Google Play Movies and TV from your Android device, i.e. like your mobile phone, but I don't really have Google Play or Google Music, so I can't really uh, do that part of the test. So that's it in terms of uh, functionality. It it definitely won't be a media player uh, replacement, but if you do use Netflix a lot and you watch a lot of YouTube, it's definitely useful. And with regards to opening local media files, Again, I've only had success uh, opening M4V and MP4. I've tried AVI files and MKV files, and they don't really work well for me. Uh, I've tried WMV files, which they say works. Uh, I can see it in my Chrome tab, but I, when I try to cast it, it's blank. So that's a start.